Ange, congratulations, League Cup winners. Can you sum up uh, your emotions uh, with the, the final whistle barely gone and everything starting to done and dusted? No, nah, mate. Um, look, it's uh, it, it's just I'm just super proud of this group of players and, and the staff, everyone, because. You know, as everyone knows, from the, probably the moment I arrived, it hasn't been smooth. We've had to overcome some fairly significant obstacles uh, almost on a daily basis from, from the moment we started. And, you know, they've always found a way. You know, and really believe in what we're doing. And <coughs> even today, um, you know, challenge, you yeah, concede a goal. And their response is, you know, the response of a team worthy of, of being champions uh, in this competition. And uh, just super proud of them. And my next question is really just one word, really, Kyogo. Yeah, he was. Look, he's he's a fantastic player, but he's he's a great human being. You know, he he just had it in his head he was going to play today. You know, it doesn't matter what anyone else told him. He was just, you know, from from the moment I think he got injured, he just thought I'm going to be there on that day, and um, he wasn't 100. percent You know. I was kind of hoping he just played within himself, but he's just a he's a quality player and a quality person. And the goal to win it, I know it's probably a cliche to say it's a goal worthy of winning any cup final, oh, but it genuinely is. Yeah, brilliant. I mean, his movement's incredible, but the composure to, you know, in such a big game, um, knowing the, the consequences um, to keep his composure and finish it in that way, um, like he's, he's, he's a top class player. And were you able to savour the atmosphere? I mean, the Celtic fans from first minute to last were completely back in the team. It was incredible. Could you enjoy it? Or were you just so wrapped up in the no, game? I mean, you know, I don't know. It's, it's, it's a, if it is, it's a bizarre form of enjoyment because you, you, your kind of emotions are, are fluctuating with, with the game. But um, again, the, the fans were, were brilliant, but they've been brilliant from day one. Um, you know, I kind of knew when I took this responsibility that after last year, that. The first thing I had to do was sell them some hope, you know, some, some hope that better days are ahead. And they saw it, I think, from the first day, even though you know, it wasn't smooth, the results weren't always there. They, they saw something in us and, and in, the, in this team, and it's just super happy to send them home today. Um, you know, hopefully looking forward to a great night. And there's not many managers who are successful in, in three different countries now of winning trophies. How, I mean, I know it's early days, how do you set this one? It's the first one as a Celtic manager, obviously. Yeah, look, I, all the success I've had, I've been very blessed to have a, you know, a fair bit. That I don't separate them or rank them, but they're all special, and they're special because of the people I share them with, you know. It's, it's, it's my wife, my beautiful boys, uh, family, friends, and, and my extended family now in, in, in the dressing rooms and, and in this stadium. Yeah. That's what you remember, and, um, you know. Along the way, I've I've collected these memories, and this is another, you know, priceless one. And I think the Celtic fans, as you mentioned from day one, they're excited about what they're seeing. This is just the start, really. Yeah, it is a start. Um, you know, it's um, you know, when as I said, when I took over, I, I knew that after last year, this club couldn't wait another year or two for success. It had to have success straight away. And, I didn't expect anyone to cut me any allowances or these group of players because we were new that you know we could go without winning something or bring success to this football club. And, um, you know, I took that responsibility seriously, and if I didn't think I I could get us to this point, you know, I wouldn't accept it because um, that's the expectation. And, um, you know, this is part one of it, and, and you know we still got a lot of growth. You know, we still got a lot of improvement in many areas, but if we keep showing the same sort of resilience and courage and belief in each other we can do it. I suppose especially for a lot of the new players the first experience of winning something for Celtic I'm guessing that'll just whet their appetite to, to get more. Yeah and that's the majority of this group you know um, probably apart from Cal, Nero, Tommy you know, the rest of them it is their first experience and it just goes to show you that this football club's had a lot of success a lot of success in recent times but this is a brand new team and yet they've you know been determined to lay their own mark right from the start and they have. You mentioned uh, a couple of weeks ago when we were talking that it was up to, to your team and Father Christmas to, to deliver a good Christmas for Celtic. You've kept your side of the bargain. It's over to Santa Claus now. Yeah, no, very true. Still another game. So um, and I'm not going to you know, um, be the um, purveyor of doom and start thinking about the next game. We'll enjoy this first. You know, 
I'll give myself the players 24 hours to really enjoy this and then uh, and then we'll get back to the task at hand. And I think the entire Celtic family, whatever they're watching in the world, really enjoyed that occasion this afternoon. So, so thank you for, for yeah, all no, and they've been great. I mean, I've been getting messages from all over the world, you know. Um, obviously, Australia, I'm at home. And, and, you know, I always knew this football club was, you know, uh, universally popular, but uh, I've had messages of encouragement, support from all over the globe. and. Uh, I'm super wrapped in all different time zones at all different times, I'm sure they're all celebrating.